Dear Harstem, Zergling is OP. That's it. This uh, <laughs> imbalance complaint form was sent in to me by a player called Stalker Only from North America in Diamond with 3940 MMR. And Zergling is OP. All right, friends, and there we go. Stalker Only versus the R Sterminator. Now, I do hope that the Stalker Only is just the name and not the, the mindset, the philosophy, the gameplay. Um, Spider was 50 minerals too late, but we'll talk about that later. Um, I, I have trouble with people that, not necessarily that play Stalker Only, I have people that play Stalker Only and advertise that fact. Look, if you want to be playing Stalker Only because you think it's fun or because you think it's very good, that is completely fine. But advertising that to the world is uh, not the play. It's absolutely not the play. Um, because people will realize much quicker that you're playing Stalker Only if your name is actually just Stalker Only. So we're going to have to wait and see if that's actually going to be the case. Sometimes people, they make a name and then they, you know, they stop living by it after a while. It's completely fine. But we'll have to wait and see. We're starting off with a... Ooh, look at that. Pretty uh, cool opener, to be honest. We have a proxy hatch. This was a 14 hatch on the outside of the gold plus the rich Vespine geyser. Um, so you can take both of these things. Okay, cancels the pylon. I kind of like that because you can just expand to the natural. Like, this is a really cool move, but there is an even cooler move. Um, after you scout it, is just taking this as your natural. And this base, they can't really mine from it because... You just put an Adept or a Stalker here and you deny the gold. And then all there's left is they just build a, a 300 mineral structure to mine from a rich Vespine geyser, which is not entirely worth it. This... This would have been an understandable thing if there was no scout, but this seems to be the genuine response to scouting a proxy hatch which I'm not a huge fan of on, on, on this particular map. I, I don't think this is a, a, a great response at all. Like I, I think theoretically it's probably still going to be fine, but you're making life much harder than it ever should have been. Um, you know, you're, it's just more challenging. You're going to need a, a, a tight response, or you're going to need to know what you're doing. And I, I think it's going to be quite rough, to be honest. But we'll have to wait and see. Starting with a Stalker so far, which I think is the correct call. Uh, Stalker has good range, good damage against Spines as well. Um, gets healed well by batteries. Gonna have a cannon in here too in the mix. I'm not sure if it actually can attack anything. Maybe it can hit one of these... One of these uh, minerals? But I'm not sure if that's actually the case. Maybe both of them can actually be hit by it. I really struggle with seeing how far a cannon can hit. I would love for this cannon just to be cancelled, though. I, I don't think it has, serves much of a purpose. Either way, Link's being constructed, walking into a full wall. As a result, uh, the Ars Terminator should realize right now um, that building Link's is going to be fairly useless. And the correct call here would be just to expand back at home, I think. So you have your attack over here, which um, filled massively. And on top of that, you have a lot of links, which is also the, also not going too great. Yeah, just gonna go back home with the drones. That was fantastic. Yeah, it's just gonna need to take this base. This game is honestly over. Um, I don't think it should have been this good for Stalker only, but it's gonna be this good for Stalker only. He's building a Twilight Council, which is uh, leading me to believe that it might actually just be a Stalker only player. It's, it's just one of these weird things, you know? And. Uh, Especially then complaining about Zerglings is kind of a weird thing. Like out of all the things you could be complaining about that could kill your Stalkers, I'd figure that maybe Lurkers would be something that, that you struggle with or Ultras or Infestors. But just Links, it's actually one of the scenarios where, you know, life isn't actually that terrible because Mass Ling is something you theoretically can take out. So I'm a little bit surprised that that's what the complaint is about. It's also just kind of weird to complain because you're... You're putting yourself, like you're limiting yourself so, so much. This is like if you're applying for jobs and rather than sending out a standard resume, you send a, a video of you breakdancing uh, to Anaconda while wearing the costume of Saruman the White. It's like, I think the chances of you getting the job are fairly limited, unless you get someone that's really into that. Uh, of course. 
And then complaining about not getting hired afterwards also would be fairly confusing in my mind. But then again, I that's not usually how I apply to jobs. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know what the success rate of that would be, personally. Maybe some of you guys have more, more experience with that. Two stalkers are just going to take out this base. This has been absolutely terrible so far for the Arse Terminator. Stalker only, meanwhile, is transitioning into a uh, prism. Blink's about to finish up. I think we could be taking a third base at this point already, um, but because of the full wall, it's going to be a little bit harder, perhaps. With the prism, you can drop a probe outside, start your nexus at any point. Now, this base is now fallen. It's 26 workers to 39. Natural is finally finished up. It's one base Hydra with double Evo chambers, 500 gas in the bank. No drones on the natural. I guess a third base is just absolutely not necessary. This, ba this, this game also seems fairly impossible to lose. Um, at this point for a stalker only, to be honest. Like, it, even with just stalkers, I think this is, this is going to be just fine. Because you're significantly outmining your opponent. You have a pretty okay-ish infrastructure, not great. It's just you know, way more workers. Something that really matters in StarCraft, just having a lot of eco. Stalker's moving around, clearing the creep here. So that's a good job, actually. I kind of like how this was executed as well. I think in general, the execution has been okay, you know? At least the breakdancing has been good so far. You know, you're, you're you're hitting your marks, you know? You're you're, you're going going on that ground, bang. I'm not actually sure what you do with breakdancing. I'm not sure if there's rules. I bet there have to be judges, right, with breakdancing. Or it's like a crowd sport where people just... Where they, if you, if you, you get the loudest screams, you win. Possibility as well. I've actually never watched the Breakdancing World Championships. I think that's what I'll be doing tonight. Either way, Hydra's uh, not on the right spot to defend this base because well, they can. Stalkers can blink over. Hydra's and Lynx cannot quite. It's gonna leave some Hydra's on the left side as this base is gonna fall. Control's pretty good. Macro behind this is. is fairly mediocre. Alright? <clears throat> it actually is fairly mediocre. But. Again, the fact that he's up 20 supply, I'm not going to blame him too much for that. He's, he's, he's still winning. Absolutely. Yeah, he's going to be taking out this rich Vespine, guys. And we're going to get a recall as well. Doesn't want to push too hard. And I can kind of feel that, you know, you're... You know you're even in bases. Um, you probably know that you're up in income. Like, there's really no need to commit into a two-base Zerg. You can, but you don't have to. And uh, then I'd rather have you play it safe. I'm still a bit surprised that we don't have a third base quite yet. Um, I'm also surprised that we're seeing the forge being taken out, because that's actually a fairly important structure. Uh, you know, getting upgrades is generally something that that is nice to get. 16 stalkers are out in total. We only have five out on the map. We're splitting our army up in two parts, sending the smallest part across the map to die against uh, these 1-1 one, one links and the five hydras. Hatchery is going to get cancelled. We have a... Uh, at the same time... Well, not really at the same time. Uh, sequentially, we're going to have an attack. Which is exactly how you don't want to move in StarCraft 2. If you're multitasking, or if you're trying to hit multiple bases, it's good to hit them at the same time, because it makes it difficult to defend. Hitting them sequentially means that you just split up your army while your opponent can move with their massive army around, clearing the threats one by one. Despite that relatively poor attack, though, I still believe that uh, the Ars Terminator is in a relatively bad position. Still down 14 workers, although up in upgrades at this point. And Lynx with 2-2 two, two upgrades, perhaps against Stalkers with plus 1 upgrades, can actually achieve something. Forge hasn't been rebuilt yet. Gateway count is at 7, which is fairly significant. But here we're going to have a nice little bit of, uh, of multitasking, actually. We, at least we have two attacks happening at the same time. Stalker count almost as high as the Link count. This should be a very, very advantageous fight here for Stalker only, who is going to get cleaned up in the main base, I believe. But I don't think it's, he's actually just right-clicking in the lair, which is amazing. Um, but he's going to clear the third base and adding two more bases. Now, the thing with bases is... The thing with bases is... Actually, I'll explain this. I'll explain this once and for all, all right? I really want to make this clear once and for all, because I, I see this way too often. And I think I have the perfect analogy for this, okay? So imagine we have two companies, 
okay, company A and company B. And both companies specialize in mediocre analogies that are needlessly complex. Company A has four offices and each office has space for 16 workers. Out of these four offices, two are fully occupied. So we have 16 workers in two of those offices. Company B has three offices of which two are also fully occupied, okay? So both have 32 workers, two fully occupied offices, um, and, and both have, you know, some amount of vacant space. Uh, so some, some space that, that can still be used. They have the potential to fill that up. Now, if all employees are equally skilled at producing uh, needlessly complex analogies of mediocre quality, it means that they're going to be producing the same amount of analogies, okay? And it's the same in StarCraft II with minerals here. If you are on four bases, which is what Stalker only currently has, and you're fighting against someone with two bases, but the two base player actually has better worker saturation than Stalker only does, then we see here that the Arsh Terminator actually is outmining the opponent, despite having less workers, and also despite um, having less offices or bases, because there's only two bases here, uh, but because he's been mining so little, they are still still active. So this is just something to keep in mind. Too often I get complaints, it's like, oh, it was seven bays against three, and then I watched the replay, and uh, out of those seven bases, two of them were mining with 40 workers per base, and the, the, the guy on three bases actually had, you know, 20 workers per base, evenly split. Like, you, yeah, you're gonna get less money then. And you know what the beauty is? In StarCraft 2, you have all these crazy little tabs that you can open where you can actually see the income as well, okay? So you can, you, it all gets explained to you. You, know, you can see if things are going well for you or not. Like it's all, this, this information is all available for you for free in the replay. No subscriptions, none of that. Blizzard, Mr. Blizzard was nice enough to give this to you for free after buying the game for $60. But you know, this information provided to you. No problem, no, no software as a service here, all right? This is, this is all coming to you at, at, at no cost. Um, the Arch Terminator once again is going for a similar play here. It's going to jump Oh No, I thought it was going to jump over. It's just going to pick up. Probably going to go for another warp in. I don't think he's going to be capable of quite taking out this base this time around, though. Now, something cool that you can do is that you kind of elevator between this area and this area. You just go back and forth, back and forth the entire time. And at least I think that is kind of cool to do. Plus two starts at this point. We have a chrono here on the uh, robotics facility that's producing absolutely nothing. That's a wild blink because that is where the units are. Uh, the main point of being capable of blinking over is mainly that you go to the side where the army is not. And you can hit the hatchery from here and you can also deny the mining from this area. So you don't really need to move to the other side uh, unless the army shows up on this side. Having a secondary army that is over here makes no sense um, whatsoever. I think you just want your entire army in this area because this is closer than this is. So you're basically giving your opponent a free target, which once again is not very smart. But we've already pretty much established that Stalker only... He's not been the smartest guy. He goes for the right click here on the hatchery. Uh, it's going to be capable as a result of losing basically all of his stalkers and leaving the hatchery alive with 18 HP. Uh, a good move. It's now probably going to get taken out by these links. Oh, if the links actually would have gone there, it would have been huge. It actually would have been huge. Because I think these links will just win. They are 2 2 versus plus 1 stalkers. Hatchery has been transfused at this point. If the Stalkers were in posi position to blink over, by the way, they could have actually just killed the hatchery and all the drones still as well. At the same time, another fight is going horribly wrong as well. So this army is being uh, semi-pulled back. We have 46 army supply, or 39 now, to 48. 30 workers to 60. So at this point, we see Stalker only still very far ahead. It's actually started to saturate these outside bases as well, which is nice to see. A little bit too much gas in the bank. Now, you could be wondering, what could I do with this gas? Perhaps Storm or... Two Archons could solve this issue. Colossus are actually also a good call, although I believe that it is more likely to see Prism Speed or Observer Speed here than actually a, a unit composition that makes any sense whatsoever. We have another Stalker attack coming in here, because being up 32 workers is not quite good enough against a race that is um, supposed to be ahead in workers. 
Now we're just gonna continue pushing in. Gonna deny our opponent's fourth base while defending our fifth at the same time. High level move. I love the uh, the continuous right clicking on hatcheries as well, rather than trying to fight units. It's always just right clicking bases, which uh, is actually kind of scary. Resources lost is 10k versus 6400. It's also something that I've never seen before with links against stalkers, but uh, then again, this is a game of many firsts. Super battery gets activated. Half the army not in position to defend. Other half of the army is actually busy defending. Warping on the right side. Most vulnerable location to warp in. Beautiful to see. Stalker is still going across the maps. We're going to have a, I guess, a, a bit of a counter attack. Should be a wild play. No, now the army is being pulled back. Trying to defend our fifth base, despite our opponent only being on three and still at half, uh, half, half the worker supply. Shouldn't really matter though, yeah. Just a pretty free win here, honestly. As uh, more links are coming across the map. Gonna have seven gateways available. Uh, batteries should be here as well. Um, see, with this amount of links, it might actually be pretty scary. Two, two links. Now, I could be wrong about this. <laughs> but... I am not entirely sure if this game was over. Actually, I'm pretty sure that if the game was over, it wouldn't necessarily be in favor of the Zerg. We have money to warp in. I'm pretty sure there's some gateways available. It's 57 workers, the, the 31. We can move in between the mineral patches. There's currently 15 links here. There's about 12 stalkers and three hydras. Probes can be used to hold position and block off an area. Like you're out mining, you almost have a bigger army. Uh, a lot of the reinforcements are still being sent across the map. This is like sending in the breakdancing video in the costume of Saruman the White. And then the, the recruiter on the other side being a huge fan of breakdancing and... Saruman the White, like he's a huge Lord of the Rings fan at the same time. And then you're getting hired. And when you respond to the hired email, you send a picture back of two middle fingers saying, I don't want the job. Like... Do people know that they don't have to send the replay to me? I've been wondering this for a while, actually. If people believe that in order to view replays, you need like a specific type of software... Like, you can actually open it yourself and just watch it back. Like, you've, you're you doubling in the resources lost, which is insane. Like, that is, that is actually crazy. I don't think I've ever seen this before in a PVC in my life. Like, that is just, that is extremely impressive. It's not quite doubling, but it's almost doubling, which is, you know, well done, my friend. But despite that, you're still in a really good spot. I think you've actually won... This game. Like, if you were to give me this situation, I'm pretty sure I'm winning. This is a winning position. And even... Like, you also could have just given up this base temporarily. Defended this area. And then gone back out. Like, you're in a really good spot. Also, at any point, you obviously could have just built units that weren't stalkers. Like Templar or Colossus. Uh, Archons. DTs. Maybe even Zealots would have been good if you... Get the, the right upgrades. Just any air unit as well. Also would have been nice. Your opponent built like 12 Hydras this entire game. Like I'm, I'm not quite sure why you would send this to me. Because you did nothing right and still almost won. And then actually won in the end. So I'm not even quite sure if you sucked. Like you kind of did outplay your opponent. Um, you just left too early. So it's not imbalanced. And you're an idiot. Congratulations. That's it. Ah. No sucking today. It's nice to see you as well. Every now and again. That's going to be it for me. I hope you did all enjoy this episode. Is, is it Imba or am I a moron? And uh, we'll see you all next time for more videos. Thanks so much. Bye bye.